The 1919 Seattle general strike's aftermath marked a period of heightened paranoia about leftist radicalism in America. Following the strike's peaceful resolution, 39 members of the minimally involved industrial workers of the world were arrested for allegedly inciting disorder. The mayor, Ole Hansen, capitalized on the event, resigning to lecture on domestic Bolshevism threats, earning more than his mayoral salary in just seven months. He argued that the strike's nonviolence did not negate its subversive intent to paralyze the government and ignite a global industrial revolution. Concurrently, the Overman Judiciary Subcommittee's extended investigation into Bolshevik propaganda conflated the strike with a perceived domestic revolutionary threat. Their report intensified fears by portraying Bolshevik activities as antithetical to American society, framing the Seattle labor unrest as a harbinger of dangerous ideological infiltration, potentially undermining American values and property rights.